What's up, YouTube? Uh, I wanted to give you guys an update of my 90 gallon reef build. Um, it's been a while since I swapped my sump out for a Ruby 36. Uh, I changed it from the Ruby 30, and my plumbing had to be redone. Obviously, the dimensions are different. You know, the sump's uh, longer and wider, and the brackets by the filter socks were actually a little further in off the wall. So, this all had to be redone. Um, this is the old manifold that I had for the Ruby 30. It uh, wasn't going to work out uh, with the refugium light that I got because it would have been right over it and I didn't want any valves or barbs or hoses uh, hanging over this light. Um, closest thing I got to being over it is that union so it's not, not too much to worry about. Um, just to start, um, I got this coming down from the overflow, uh, passing through a ball valve just in case I need to shut it off and work on a sump. Uh, union for a quick disconnect and in the 245s uh, before it hits a street 90 into the filter sack. Um, these 245s I'm hoping would help reduce some noise and keep the flow uh, going a little faster versus having 290s dropping straight into the filter sack. Now I'm hoping it help create a full siphon too by hitting that street 90 before it goes in. Um, not entirely sure how it's going to work out, but I was trying to imitate um, the people who have uh, the flex tubing and uh, hoses. They usually have a 90 right before it goes in, and you know they're pretty quiet. Versus people who have just PVC dropping straight into the sump. And the reason why I chose the second one versus the first one was because of the skimmer and the skimmer cup. Uh, would have been really hard to reach back there and change the filter sock in the corner so I decided just to use this one uh, it gives me enough space here to reach back there and change it and um, on the other side you know, I got the mag 18 coming to a ball valve into a union going into a 90 and then shooting straight across uh, it's perfectly level uh, it hits this T comes into like a fork shaped manifold with three barbs on the end um, first one probably for maintenance or water change or acclimating new guys uh, middle one for a phosphate reactor and the last one possibly for some bio pellets or a chiller or just hook a hose up to it and run it back to this section inside that open bulkhead and have it blasting the floor inside the skimmer section to keep the buildup of detritus you know from accumulating and it'll help recirculate some of the water too so it's not really a bad idea um, I got the refugium light hung up that's its little hanging kit just screwed some uh, screws to the side and hooked it under it makes it easy to remove the refugium light uh, if I need to do any work in here and mess with stuff and you know who knows what you gotta do but it makes it easy being able to take it apart and I did add that piece of plywood up there so I can screw uh, extra electronics up top to keep from screwing onto the side here. Um, this wall is pretty thin, so I don't want to screw anything at all onto this wall because it'll pop out, you know, the other side. And the back wall it butts up to each other, and I got a little bit of space up there so I can keep the wires above it and maybe drill some holes to get the wires up there so all the wires ain't hanging down here and I did screw in and paint the exhaust fan um, just to show you it doesn't really let too much air come out you can tell by the light that doesn't escape from around the sides uh, didn't fit in there perfectly so I had to use the trim to kind of seal up these holes the weather stripping and same thing on the sump so all this area is pretty much closed off except for a small gap but not too much to worry about here I will put a fine screen to screen the air so that the dust and little balls that you know build up on your fans and 
make it look all dirty and nasty. Hopefully, uh, it'll stop stop this from getting too bad. Um, it is removable if I need to change it. And I left a little bit of a gap here so my wires can pass through, obviously, for the stuff that needs to get to the back of the tank and with the MP40s and stuff. And since the last update too, I did add a second eductor just because one had uh, way too much PSI coming out of it with the MAG-18. So I figured having two of them would be a little better with an MP40 sitting over here and an MP40 sitting over there. With this uh, mixing up and causing havoc, I should have had really good random flow. Um, also, um, just to show you, the skimmer cup's huge, but it has plenty of space because when I got here, I hit a 45, it then straightened back out over here, so it left me room to be able to turn that knob and not be interfered by the skimmer cup. And the filter sock, like I said, is easy to get to. It's always a good option. And my lab uh, probes are not going to be interfering with anything either so they'll be able to come down here and uh, get into that these are my toys I got the Radeon Pros and the Apex Neptune with a PH lab probe and the ORP lab probe with the Tom's Aqualifter for my top off uh, Fosband reactor for the phos, uh, phosphates uh, vinyl braided tubing and a box to my pump so I'm still waiting for the mp40s before I go ahead I know I got enough to run this tank already but I'm gonna be patient enough to wait for the mp40s um, just so I can get the wire listing uh, for the Neptune to control my uh, mp40s yeah, it's a really nice option that Neptune offered so and the mp40s I'm also planning on getting the battery back up uh, uh, the screw up up here and the ballast to the radions are going to be up here it's going to be a tight squeeze but I should be able to get everything in here uh, with Apex Neptune I might get a second power bar um, not sure yet but I want to have the tank fully automated as much as I can and I did leave enough space here to stick the reactors inside the sump if I need to in case I add some kind of uh, calcium reactor or uh, auto top off reservoir or something in this section and enough space back there to add a maxi jet to uh, stop the build up of the tritus and it's coming out pretty good guys I don't know I'm happy no complaints so far besides uh, the patience that I'm having to put this thing together and have it running but let me know what you think opinions are appreciated Happy reefing.